Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of What Ted Says, where it's always time to get a fatter wallet and a bigger net worth. Have you ever thought about winning the lottery because the chances are almost one in 175 million, am I gonna get struck by lightning, for winning the Powerball, which is about 60,000 times less likely than being struck by lightning in your lifetime, so there it is. You know, playing the lottery is not a sound financial plan, it just isn't, but most of us have probably taken a moment or two to daydream about what we would do with a hundred million dollars. Hmm, would I buy a boat, a car, a plane? I don't know, but in reality, if you did get very, very lucky, I've got some good advice for you what to do if you win the lottery, because guess what? In my career, I've actually had two clients who won the lottery. Yes, they did. Now, not the big one for like, $200 million, but each of them won a million dollars. So I have some real life experience for you and I'm gonna share this with you in this next episode of What Ted Says. So, what do you do if you win the lottery? First things first, deep breath. Secure your ticket, make sure that you've got several copies on both sides so you can basically show your lawyer and your accountant or financial advisor and then lock the actual ticket away. Do it in a safety deposit box if you have to get one or if you have a secure personal safe, do it there because in some cases, signing your ticket might actually prevent you from creating something that I'm gonna to talk to you about called a blind trust. That could be really, really important. So once you take that deep breath, um, you have a set amount of time actually that you can end up turning in your ticket. So make sure that you know how long that time frame is because you don't wanna to run to the lottery office the first thing next morning and go, ooh, ooh, it's me, I have a lottery ticket. Let yourself calm down and then start to form your team of advisors and the plans before you officially contact the lottery officials. I think that's gonna be really important. So what about your privacy? Can you actually have anonymity? As tempting as it may be to shout from the rooftops and throw a huge, I won the lottery! party, uh, you don't want to do that. Keep as much to yourself as possible. This is the time to sh shut it down before turning in your ticket. Some lotteries may require for you to make your name public, may require that you give interviews or even show up at a press junket. If so, I'd really recommend that you change your phone number. Uh, a lot of times it's easy to get access to your mobile phone number and then try to set up like a PO box as opposed to your mailing address beforehand. And that way you're not inundated with the quest of people who want you to donate money or give money or invest money, but I also mentioned this, you may end up considering a blind trust that's not in your name, so it wouldn't say the Ted Jenkins Trust. This could be some ABC blind trust that's done through your attorney, and this way you can have anonymity in the states that provide for it, and when you receive the money, it actually goes into that trust that keeps you, your family, and your name out of the spotlight. One thing I tell all people when it comes to lottery is don't quit your job right away. This is gonna be a dead giveaway at work. Like one day you're working hard saying, I wanna retire at 65, next day you're like, hey, I don't have to work anymore and get your financial team into place. A good attorney, a good CPA, and a good certified financial planner because 33% of lottery winners, and I've seen this, they declare bankruptcy because they mismanage the funds that they won from the lottery. So getting a smart financial plan into place about what you're gonna do with the funds by setting up an emergency cash reserve, by getting an investment portfolio that will pay you money, all of those things will be good ideas. Now, let's talk about this trust and this idea of a blind trust because you might think about it. The key here is getting a good lawyer because as I mentioned, only some states will guarantee you anonymity, but you wanna make sure that your trust has that non-identifying name. Again, don't put your name in it. Don't even put like a password code name that's in there. It should be something totally separated from you and your family name because people will be able to look up tax IDs. And if they do and they can match your name to the trust, that's when the floodgates can open. And then a final consideration in here is the big question between lump sum or taking an annuity which is a spread or a stream of payments over time. The big question is, do you have financial discipline? Because it's not always the best thing to get that lump sum of money if in fact you don't know what you're doing. Now my preference is get the lump sum of money so you can have the money work for you today. Take the lump sum, figure out the smartest tax plan possible to minimize taxes, and this way you can create your own annuity over time and you can get all this cash working for you today as opposed to waiting to get that cash over 20 years because that annuity, it's the same stream of payment over 20 years, which means payment number 20 is not gonna be the same value of payment number one due to inflation. And then the last thing is, how big did you win? Look, to be honest with you, a scratch-off ticket 
that has a thousand dollars i mean it's nice but it's not a big win even winning a million dollars after taxes it may only be seven hundred thousand dollars and you should use something called the four percent rule so if you net a hundred million dollars the odds are that you can withdraw four million dollars a year but if you want a million dollars that means you can only withdraw forty thousand dollars a year is that really going to be enough to help you retire so did this help you not only if you win the lottery but if you get a big windfall and now that you have a plan to make sure the millions of dollars you just won with your lucky numbers doesn't slip through your fingers isn't it time to figure out how to invest that hard-earned money the right way well guess what this is why i created what ted says fatter wallet bigger net worth you should watch my video on how to start investing in stocks thanks for watching this i love doing this channel thanks for watching what ted says please subscribe to the channel. Please get the notifications so you can get these videos every week. And if you hear of somebody getting a lottery, a windfall, an inheritance, make sure they go to one place and one place only. And that's what Ted says.